What's up guys? Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Cold Boy. We got a brand new video today. Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I currently have the early access. The full game comes out October 4th. So if you haven't pre-ordered the deluxe edition, you'll have to wait until Friday to play this game. But in today's video, what my plan is, I want to show you guys some early game tips that I think are very important, especially if you want to simplify your experience right from the beginning and just make things a lot easier. As always, be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you guys enjoy, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let's get to it. So at the beginning of the game, your mission is to land on this island, Aurora, which is where the game takes place, your helicopter crashes, and your main goal is to go to all the crash sites and look for survivors. Now, if you really wanted to, you could skip all the enemies and just run through this part. It's pretty simple. You could run to all the waypoints without interacting with a single person, but that's not what I recommend, guys, and here's why. If you choose to skip out on everything, you're gonna miss a lot of opportunity for weapons, gear pieces, and even skill credits to buy stuff from the store. So what I would personally suggest, right when you start the game, take your time, go to all the areas where the enemies are, you'll find chests, and like I said, you'll get rewards from actually exploring the world. There's gonna be a lot of missed opportunity if you guys just speed through this, I promise you. All right guys, tip number two, once you beat the tutorial, you'll eventually get your first skill point. And with that first skill point, the option is yours. You can choose one of the four classes that are available to you, the Field Medic, Assault, Panther, and the Sharpshooter. Once you pick a class, it's gonna give you an option to unlock some skills. Now, this game has a huge skill tree, but there are specific skills that I highly recommend unlocking as soon as possible. And we'll go over those right now. The skill you guys need to unlock as soon as possible is gonna be the Parachute. Why? Well, the parachute is a great way to maneuver around the world. Whether you're in a helicopter or you're on a cliff, it's just an easy way to get around undetected because it's very silent. I promise you, if you don't unlock the parachute right away and you get into a situation where you need a parachute, you're gonna regret it for sure. Second skill, guys, is gonna be the night vision goggles. These are absolutely essential, especially if you're going in at night. Obviously, you don't have to go in at night if you don't want to. The game gives you the ability to change the time of day. But if you want to increase the overall immersion of the game, have fun, be tactical, be strategic. Night vision goggles are definitely going to help you at nighttime, especially when it's raining. Next talent is going to be the thermal vision. The reason I love thermal vision so much is because it makes enemies easier to detect because you can sense the heat in their bodies. So although everything might be kind of hard to see, as soon as an NPC pops up, you're going to see them very clearly and it's definitely an advantage for you. And plus, you'll also feel like the predator. Who doesn't want that? Next skill is called Sixth Sense. This skill is great because it's automatically going to mark enemies that are within 25 meters of you. And from time to time, you're gonna struggle with marking enemies, especially if they're in buildings. So if you get next to a building, this is gonna be very essential because it'll mark the enemy for you and it's gonna give you an advantage. The last skill in this set of skills that I think are highly, highly essential, especially at the beginning of the game that you should unlock immediately is gonna be Slim Shadow. Slim Shadow is gonna give you plus 80 stealth and plus 10 agility. And if you've already chosen the Panther class, you can stack this on top of it and you will seriously be a ghost. Another early game tip, especially if you're new to the Ghost Recon genre or if you just haven't played Wildlands, whatever it may be, one of the key features of the game is your drone. Now you can throw your drone in the air and the reason this is gonna be an essential tip is because you need to use your drone effectively. And what I mean by that is before you infiltrate a base, you wanna make sure you mark as many people as you possibly can because this will give you the upper hand. You'll know exactly where everybody is and you can plan your approach strategically. If you wanna play this game the way it's meant to be played, being tactical, being strategic, being quiet, being a ghost, and this tip is absolutely essential. Next tip guys, once you've marked all the enemies, once you've infiltrated a base, an important thing to remember is you don't have to kill everybody. If your mission is to hack a computer, steal a document, or if you're just in there to loot some crates, you can do all of that without killing a single person. Obviously, if you wanna kill them, go ahead, but if you wanna get in, get out, do your mission and dip, you can do that. And last tip on the list, guys, that I think is also very important when you start the game. When you get in a helicopter and you look around the map and you see all that smoke in the air and you're wondering what that is, you guys, those are fast travel points. They're called bivouacs. So every time you see smoke in the air and you're on your way to a mission, to a waypoint, I would highly suggest stopping, deploying the bivouac, and unlocking that fast travel point You'll come to appreciate that extra time you take to get out of your helicopter and deploy the bivouac because later on in the game you might have a mission in that area and if you don't have a fast shuttle point looks like you're walking driving or using a helicopter 
when in reality, you could just teleport there if you really wanted to, but it's up to you guys. Real Streak on Breakpoint comes out this Friday, October 4th. If you're getting your hands on it, be sure to remember these points. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it so much. Like I said, if you're new, subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot of awesome content on here. I'll see you guys next time.